What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here with another Battle Box video. It's March. That means this is Mission 73 because we had 72 last month. I can actually do math. Is that math or is that just counting? Either way, we got a pretty freaking awesome box right here this month. We also got a special guest that I'm going to introduce to y'all here in a little bit. But first, we got to open it and we got to see what's inside. Let's do that, shall we? All right, so Mission 73. Here's our mission brief, which uh, you're gonna have to watch the video to see what's inside, because I'm no longer showing it to you guys. I'm sure y'all understand that by now. So in the basic box, the first item, I'm actually gonna push back to the, to the, <clears throat> to the rear. <laughs> We're gonna bring that up last. First item after the first item is gonna be the GTFO, GTFO. I'll let you figure out what that says because my children watch this video. The wrist strap with advanced handcuff key. Where's that at? Here we go. The GTFO, get the freak off. Yeah, that's what it means. What's so special about this wrist strap? Do you, have you ever seen a wrist strap that you can shatter glass with? Yeah, you can do that with this. Have you seen a wrist strap that you can get out of handcuffs with? <laughs> oh yeah, you can do that with this right here. Very inconspicuous. I like inconspicuous. And I like having stuff on my wrist for some reason, as you guys will probably very well see. So it just looks like a, you know, Typical little wrist strap. It's elastic and it's got a couple goodies on it. I'm gonna take off to show you. A handcuff key, can you see that, boss man? Mm -hmm. So you got yourself a handcuff key right there. Why would you need a handcuff key? Well, why the heck not? Sometimes you get handcuffed when you really shouldn't, okay? I ain't saying you need to be messing with the cops handcuffed, because if you got your handcuffs on you from an old guy with a badge, you probably deserve it. If you get kidnapped, and a feller or a disgruntled woman has got you in handcuffs, well, by gosh, you can get yourself out and run away from her because it's probably not going to end well for, for you. I promise you that. And also, we've got this little doodad right here. It kind of looks like a striker from a, a, um, a Zippo lighter, but that's not what it is. That's the actual glass break right there. So what's cool about this is if in a situation you need a break a side window of a vehicle or something like that so you can get out or any glass for that matter for whatever purpose you can use this to break that glass by simply spreading it in your fingers like so and if this was glass which I'll show you a video of us doing it that will break the glass okay so very cool I mean we all we all have preached that in a vehicle you need to have some sort of glass breaker with you but what if you're in a vehicle of somebody else's and they ain't got one and you need to get out, you know? You've got a way to do that with a simple wrist strap that's on your wrist right there. So very cool. So if you're like me and you like keeping some gear, survival bracelets, things like that on your wrist, this is a very small, inconspicuous add-on for that purpose, yeehaw. That is the second but first mentioned item in the basic box. So next up, it's from Culture Co. It's a cipher bandana. I really dig this. This, this right here, I dig. Because a bandana's got a lot of uses, right? I could probably do a two hour video on what you can do with a bandana in a survival situation. So I'm not gonna do that because I'm sure you don't wanna sit here for two hours and look at this, okay? I wouldn't. Sometimes I'm not very attractive to look at. But uh, this right here is a bandana that has all kind of cool information on here. That's why they call it the cipher bandana. So. You got your alphabet here. If you are a ham radio operator, you should know those. Your alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, echo, foxtrot, etc. You got your Morse code or CW, dits and da's, if you will. So A is dit da. It's got sign language. And it's also got flag positions so that you can send code or whatever using these as a guide if you don't know those things. Also, how to use a signal mirror and all that fun stuff. So that's what's really cool about Coulter Co. is that at the end of the day, it's a bandana, right? How cool can you make a bandana? Well, they got it figured out. They've got bandanas for knots. They got bandanas for identifying different types of plants, different types of tracks of animals, whatever. So it's a great thing to have that can give you information and you can use it for all the purposes of a bandana. Always like a good bandana. You know, got to blow your nose, <laughs> you can do that. Filter water, make a splint, a hasty tourniquet, all sorts of ways, right? Yeah, a bolo tie. For COVID. Yeah, for COVID, make yourself a mask. 
I mean, are y'all getting all this? Just had a little banter going on there. That's all. <laughs> mm -hmm. So next on the list is rapid rope. So y'all have heard me preach time and time again about how you should know how to tie certain types of knots. You need to be good with cordage. Well, cordage kind of in the same way is just as useful as a, a bandana is. There's tons of uses, tons of ways you can use cordage. Problem is, there's tons of ways to have tangled up cordage and not be able to store it very well and it getting you know wet and mildew on it and all sorts of crap that goes along with cordage. But with rapid rope, it's all contained inside of this, this package right here. Gotta take this off. And you do not have to worry about having a tangled mess when you need some cordage for whatever reason. So everything is inside this container right here, as you can see. All right, when you run out, you can just purchase another um, thing of rope from them, drop it inside of your container, and then you're good to go. If you don't, now you got a container to keep stuff in. But you just pull out what you need, and you ain't got to worry about it getting tangled up or being a mess. Very, very handy, especially if you need to bind things down on a trailer in the back of a truck or something like that. It's really nice. You can tie this off and you can walk to where you need and just you pull out exactly what you need. Once you get what you need, they've got a handy little cutter right here on the top that cuts it and you're done. <laughs> How about that? And it's very strong. It's a flat rope. Um, got very, very high tensile strength and it's very, very strong. I, you lift all kind of stuff with this. How strong is it, actually? I want to be sure to tell you. 1,100 pounds. So this ain't no 550 cord, folks. This is 1,100 pounds. Um, oh, it says whopping weight rated at 1,100 pounds. So you got 120 feet in there. And uh, this one right here is real nice high visibility, visibility orange, which I dig. And it's great. So that is your rapid rope. Also on the packaging, it's got different, uh, different knots that you can tie on here. The bowline, the trucker's hitch, square knot. Um, shows somewhat how they're used. Made in the USA. I know y'all dig that. Made in the USA. So really cool little rope cutting dispenser with a lot of good rope that you can use and easily put in your pack and don't have to worry about having a knotted up tangled mess. Great for hunters anybody in the outdoors. That's rapid rope. Now for the last in the basic box. Are you ready? She ain't ready. She looked at me like I ain't ready. The last but really the first item in the basic box as far as the list goes here is a product called Salty Bridges Chafing Ointment. Now look here. I know good and well that you've been chafed before. I know I have. I'm just saying. You know, All of us have had a, had, had a chafing experience. And if we haven't you might need to go outside a little bit more. I'm just saying. It sucks, okay? I worked on roofs for 24 years in 120 degree heat, sweating my you know what off, and I've been chafed about everywhere you can think to be chafed, and it sucks. This stuff right here is a solution to that, and I wish I had known about it or if I, it was been in existence when I was a chiller mechanic, because I definitely would have used this. But outside of that, hiking, you know, general outdoor use, whatever, toting backpacks, going on a long ruck, things like that, we have chafing. You have areas, that, you know, areas of friction, right? Areas on your shoulders from your backpack, lower back from your backpack, your belt if you're running a gear belt, your boots, your heels, your ankles, your nether regions. It sucks. I'm telling you, this stuff right here takes care of all that. And I'm not a scientist, I'm not a chemist, but I know one, she's standing right over there. Her name is Amy Tucker, right? Tucker, I got the last name right. She's the CEO and uh, she invented this stuff. And, she, and she's a chemist and she's pretty freaking awesome. And then she's gonna come in here and tell us about it, okay? Here she is, right here. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> so thanks for coming to, uh, to the big old metropolis of Portal, Georgia. And uh, we got your skin barrier ointment right here from Salty Britches. And I know you've got some really good stories of what this is used for and how you came up with it. So I guess let's start with that. Okay. Well, really, it was just mama desperation. Um, our young son couldn't swim in the ocean without mm -hmm. getting the horrible, painful chafing that would ruin our vacation. So that's where it started. 
But then we had a couple of active duty military and special force operators that found it and contacted us and asked if we could make it in a matte black tube. So at their request, we, uh, we changed the packaging just to suit their needs. Mm -hmm. And they really use it because they could be out on a mission for long periods of time. And they, right. they needed something that was really robust that would withstand a lot of irritation, um, especially for boots. Mm -hmm. um, when they came to me, they said, Miss Tucker, there's two things we need help with, and that's our feet and chafing. And yep. I said, I, I think I can help you out. Yeah, so one of the things in training that, that in not just special forces, but in the military period, is to take care of your feet. That's right. right? That's a big deal. Because uh, if your feet are hurt, sore, blistered, uh, your foundation is kind of yeah. tore up, right? I mean, it's just not going to work out good. So um, I know in my past experience with, with different ointments for things like this uh, is, is longevity of it. So how is mm -hmm. this any different than what is typically known as a chafing yeah. product? Well, that's really why we created it. I needed something that was super robust that would withstand salt water, mm -hmm. which is about the most extreme that you could get. So that's why we created it, was to really fill that need. Right. So it's so robust and strong that it'll withstand salt water for long periods of time. I got you. So, and, that, and outside of salt water, and I guess technically when you're sweating and your, your area yeah. of friction, well, you're, when that evaporates, there's technically salt there that's right. anyway because of our bodies. Mm -hmm having salt, right? So that's right. That's, is that the main reason behind chafing is, is outside of the friction thing? Is it, it is salt mostly, deposit left it over? It can be. It's mostly as a result of friction, but with sweat, obviously when you're not sweating anymore, the water evaporates, the mm -hmm. salt ions are left behind. They get trapped in clothing, which is more surface area, which causes more friction. Right. So it's just a, it's a bad party. It is. <laughs> it's a bad party. It is. You I've been there. It. I've been this there. will also treat it. So that's one of the differences with salty britches is you can use it ahead of time. But what usually happens are people don't realize that they're going to chafe and they it ends up happening. Mm -hmm. But this you can apply after the fact. So it'll create a barrier so it doesn't get worse and it helps soothe what's already happened. Right. I got you. Very cool. And I love the name salty britches. That's the southerner coming out That's right, right. It's what we call pants around here is britches. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Just in case some of y'all didn't know, that's, that's what we call pants, <laughs> dungarees, britches. Very cool. So I guess moral of the story is if, if special forces, like I'm assuming like Marsoc and the Rangers and, right. and you know all those type of guys, if it's something that they go, we got a problem, it's a big deal, right? <laughs> She's big time, man. <laughs> She's up there with, with, with the straight up bad boys, right? <laughs> I don't know. When you walk in the room, they play like a theme song or anything, because you know <laughs> you're saving them music. from their feet getting messed that's up. Right. And all. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you. So that is the skin barrier called Salty Britches, and I want you guys to try this stuff because I'm, I promise you this: if you have not experienced chafing, when you do, you're going to be pretty freaking miserable. I promise you. So I guess it's for application purposes, let's say uh, I'm going into an environment where it's potential of that. I just mm -hmm. apply this like a like a lotion. Um, a little to goes a, a long way okay. with this. You don't need a lot. Right. And and so apply it like to the back of your heel mm -hmm. area, yep. uh, growing area, mm -hmm. belt line, any, right. anywhere that could be of, of friction, potential yep. friction. Apply it to any hot spots that come up. So right. You know, as you're in activity and you realize, gosh, I feel like a little something on my ankle is trying mm -hmm. to pop up, go ahead and apply it and it'll prevent that from raising. This also works great if you get a small burn, mm -hmm. um, say from a small fire or you just get a small burn, you can apply that and it won't wilt. I got um, it also works great for chat lips and really gnarly, dry chat skin like your hands. Yeah, so definitely like in cold winter yep. environments, this, this burn, would be really, yeah. really good. Yep. Awesome. Lots of uses. Really dig it. And a little bit goes a long way, y'all. Yeah. That's what she That'll said. That'll last you a long time. Cool. Good deal. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank for coming. you for having me. All right. All right. So that's your basic box. We've got the rapid rope. We've got the salty britches. <laughs> I love that word, britches. We got the, the uh, let me be sure I get this right so I don't actually say something bad. The GTFO <laughs> wrist strap. You can fill in the blanks. And then we've got the uh, cipher bandana from Culture Co. So, now it's time for the advanced box. In the advanced box this month, we've got two items. 
we've got the Stanley 20 ounce classic trigger action travel mug. Now, if you're an outdoorsman or woman, for that matter, you got to have something to keep things hot and keep them cold. Now, how it knows how to keep it hot and cold and which one's hot and cold, I don't know, but it does it. You got to have something from Stanley. So here we've got the travel mug, the trigger action travel mug. It's not exactly like the old school original Stanley, but it is a Stanley and they've got a little modern twist on it. So we've got this trigger right here in the top that allows the liquids to come through here on the mouthpiece area right here. So that's pretty cool. So one-handed operation, you know, you gotta worry about taking the top off or anything like that, so that's pretty cool. Keep hot stuff hot for nine hours and 12 hours cold, so that's pretty good. If you put ice in there with it, it says up to 40 hours. So that's pretty freaking awesome if you can do that. So of course, you take your top off, you take your paper out, you ain't gonna need that. Put your liquids in there and you're good to go. But what else is really cool about this, okay? I've been here, right? Coffee, hot chocolate, things like that. You get ready to wash it. You can't get down in all the bits in here to clean it very well, and it ends up getting kind of nasty. Well, you can take this bad boy completely apart and clean the areas in here, and you're good to go. So uh, there's a lot of companies that don't do that. All this stuff is all one piece. You can't get in there and really clean it. So you, ain't get, you get your coffee grounds all in there, and you get the old nasty stuff, or whatever you put in there little piece of a noodle stuck in there and you can't get it out, well you can take this apart, you can clean it, throw it in your dishwasher and all that fun stuff, right? And then you gotta be able to put it back together while you're on camera. Give me a minute. <laughs> all right, we good, we got it. So you get this in potentially three colors. You got this navy color here and a black color and then this isn't the same one but for a color perspective this is a smaller one this is 16 ounce then the old school kind of green color that stanley's known for so you might get this color this color or a black i don't have a black one with me but uh that is your first item in the advanced box you got to have one of those second item in the advanced box is a knife it's the smith and wesson extreme ops folder Check that out. I just spit on myself. I got one in the mystery spot because I don't want to open that package in front of y'all. I want to keep it looking nice and new right there. So here we go. The Smith & Wesson, that's it. I'm trying to, Daniel complains because I move my hands around a lot and he's trying to chase me around with the lens over there. So I'm gonna hold it right here, you get? Mm. Okay. <laughs> we got the Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops Folding Knife. So I always say you kind of need a burner knife, right? Sometimes you got a really nice knife and you don't want to put it through some abuse just because it's a nice knife and you just don't want to do it. This is a perfect knife for that. A quality knife, however, you don't have to feel bad about doing something you probably wouldn't want to do with a nicer knife, right? So check that dude out. It's got a really cool design here. It's got an open, open scales, um, in my opinion, so you can keep it clean, easy. You can spray this thing down and then dry it and get all the whatever you get stuck up inside the scales and all out, which sometimes is a pain in the butt with nicer knives because you get, you know, say you're skinning out a deer or something, you get some sinew up in there and you can't get it out and it's a pain in the butt. Now you're pissed off, you just ruined a really nice knife. This one right here is built for abuse. Give it abuse. Use it for the things that you don't want to use your real fancy knife for and it's going to serve you very well. So it's got a nice deep pocket clip on it, liner lock, very nice knife. And Smith and Wesson. You gotta have something from Smith and Wesson. All right? There you go. Really sweet freaking knife right there. And it's extreme ops. Go with your extreme ops freaking chafing stuff right there. Bam! How you like that? I dig it. Let's see. Three and a half inch black coated 440 stainless steel blade for all you knife aficionados out there that want to know what kind of steel it is. So that's a very nice knife to go along with your travel mug in the advanced box. Yeah. So next is the Pro Box. In the Pro Box, we got the Vortex Optics Solo Monocular. It's eight by 25. I really dig Vortex. Vortex is my optic company of cho choice. I've got vo Vortex scopes. I got Vortex binoculars. Now I got a monocular right here. This is the eight by 25. So kind of a good idea to have a way to kind of keep your eye on things. <laughs> See what I'm saying? 
keep your eye on things. It's a monocular. Can't keep you. You see what I'm saying? It's like mono one. Never mind. You don't need that. All right, so we got ourselves a little strap out there we can put on it. We got ourselves a cleaning pad. We got directions. We don't need that. We got us a pouch right here. And inside the pouch, man, they protected this thing. We got your monocular. In that cube. You got your cup right there in case you're wearing glasses or not. In case you didn't know, that's what that's there for. Um, sometimes looking into a monocular or binoculars with glasses on, it creates a vignetting effect. That's what this is for, so you can adjust that. Anyhow, this right here is a monocular for Vortex. Vortex makes great gear. I promise you, you're going to love this thing. And the purpose behind this is you need to have a way to keep a visual on things, right? And sometimes having a set of binoculars hanging from your neck when you're walking or you're trekking or whatever, you kind of, they, they get heavy after a while. Start to wear on your neck. <laughs> I'm just saying. Start to wear on your neck a little bit. You not always, you know, need a big set of binoculars to look through. You want to take a quick glance. You want to see what, what you're up against, what's out there, and you want to do it discreetly. This is a great way to do it. Almost can completely hide this thing in your hand and take a quick gander at what you need to take a gander at, right? It's an 8 by 25, so it's 8 power with a 25 millimeter lens. Focus adjustment, the whole nine yards. You do have a lanyard on here, so you can hang it from your neck if you want, but fits really good into a pocket, into a pack, or anything like that, and you can quickly scope out an area or, you know, find that critter that you need to kill so you can have you some dinner that night, right? Really cool. Small, compact, and made by Vortex. And Vortex is one of the premium optic companies out there. If you don't believe me, look it up. Freaking awesome. That right there is a $75 value item right there. I dig it. All right, so that's your Pro Box item right there from Vortex. This thing's slick, y'all. Y'all really gonna dig this. It's got that nice pouch there. You can strap it to your belt or you can strap it to your pack or whatever, but really cool thing to use when you there's not a necessity to use a, a large set of binoculars and, and carry that weight around. This is a great thing to have pretty much in any situation. So keep it with your EDC pack, I would recommend, because you don't know you might need it, right? This month in the Pro Plus, I don't think you've seen a knife like this before. I know I didn't when I first, when I first saw it, I was like, huh, that's pretty freaking cool. I dig that. So we've got the Revolt Rotor. Now, you're going to get different colors of this, so I'll go over that here in a minute. I just happen to have the green one in this box. So what we've got is the Revolt Rotor, and it is a very unique EDC folder. Super light. Obviously, you can probably tell because it's got a very minimalistic design to the scales, and you can actually see the blade through the scales, which is pretty cool. So the reason it's called the Rotor, obviously it's a flipper, but I'm going to do this slow so you can see it. You'll notice right here, just past the tab, watch right there. See how that comes up? And as it comes across, it rotates, rotor rotates, and it drops into that notch right there, and that's how it's locked. So it's literally locked by this top bar right here, if you will. If you were to pull that bar up, you can unlock the knife. So. That's a cool looking knife right there. Super lightweight, great EDC knife, great knife for just carrying on you all the time when you need one. And I'll be honest with you, if you're a feller and you ain't got a knife in your pocket, I think you need to go get a get, get you get something tested. Like it's, you need to check your manhood, man, because you got to have a, a feller's got to have a knife on. And this is a great one to have. If you if you never had a knife on you before, this is a great starter knife. <laughs> <laughs> Be a man with this knife right here. Really cool knife. It's got a lanyard section on here, of course, the nice pocket clip. And what's cool about it is, is as you grip this knife, you even more so enforce the locking strength of the knife. So it's a very positive locking knife right here. You don't have to worry about it coming back and, and cutting you or anything like that unless you just absolutely don't know how to use a knife, which I guess is possible. But uh, still be careful with it. It can cut you. But the lock design is very cool right there, and it just gives it a very unique look. And it's super lightweight. Daniel told me the other day that some people that uh, 
that he, he's been obviously carrying the knife for a little while and he's shown some of his friends and the first thing they say is, man, that's a light knife. So it's a great knife, especially if you like to wear shorts. So what colors may you get? Hold on a minute, I'm gonna go in the mystery spot and I'm gonna show you, my knife just fell over, didn't it? It did. What color do I got? I got green, so we don't need the green. All right, now I don't know the technical name for all these colors, so I'm gonna read them off because they're a little bit different than what we would specifically call them. So I'm gonna show you that one last. You got yellow. Now this yellow color right here does not come with a lanyard. This one's on here to show that you can put a lanyard on it if you like. Um, so neon yellow is what they're calling it. We've got bright blue, so you may get the bright blue one. All these are the same, the only difference is the color. We've got the tech gold color. It's really cool. And then we got this white one right here, which is really cool. Well, it's even more so cool. <laughs> it's even cooler, more so cool. Yeah, that works. What's even more so cool <laughs> is you can dye this to whatever color you want, right? So you can customize this one however you want. Whatever color you want, you can actually dye this one to be that color. It can be multicolors. It can be whatever the heck you want. You understand what I'm saying? This one right here, if you get this one, you've got all kind of options. <laughs> and last but not least is, we're going to call it the Easter egg, all right? A few of y'all are going to get this version here. This is a white carbon fiber scales on the rotor. How freaking cool is that? Not typically what you expect to see when somebody says carbon fiber. Usually it's black and gray. This one kind of a gray and a white, kind of metallic, almost seems translucent. Really cool. So a few of y'all are going to get this. Most people will get a variety of colors of this. The Easter Egger is going to be that guy right there. So yeah, that one's really cool. So it does have a ball bearing pivot in here, which is nice, makes it nice and smooth. Um, how do you how do you close it back up? I mean, I can't close it. How do you close it? So very simple. Obviously, there's a gap right there. You simply need to put a little bit of pressure through this gap with either your thumb or your, your pointer finger or both and relieve some of the tension here, and then you can close the blade. So if, I were to, if I'm holding it like this, I'm putting tension here. And I like to put my thumb on top. So tension up, blade down, and you can close it. So that's all you gotta do. You just gotta relieve some of that tension on that top bar right there. That's what's holding it in. So finger, thumb, thumb up here, pressure up, pressure down, and it'll unlock. Yeehaw. So that is the Pro Plus, the Revolt Rotor, and all the possible colors you may get it in. So. There you go, yeehaw. So that's Mission 73 of Battle Box, folks. We got an awesome knife right here, a good old beater knife, what I like to call them. We got the salty britches, which is freaking awesome. Like, I'm telling you, misery is a bad thing. That thing can help you out. <laughs> help avoid or treat the miserable situation. We've got the Stanley travel mug right here with the trigger action. Gotta have some trigger action. We've got the cipher bandana right here with all the code and hand signals and flag signals and all on there, which is really, really nice to have in case you need to, uh, you know, do a little bit of covert communications. Hopefully the person you're trying to talk to knows them. <laughs> Maybe he's got one of these too. Uh, we've got the Vortex monocular, which is really cool. You're really going to like that. A great, small, lightweight and effective uh, optic to have pretty much at any time because it's an EDC size. We've got the G. TFO uh, wrist strap right here, like I got on my wrist right here with the handcuff key and the glass brake, which is really cool. Rapid rope. Gone are the days of tangled rope. 1,100 pound strength, really good. It's got the cutter and all built in. Takes what completely eliminates the, the hassle of dealing with cordage sometimes, right? And then last but not least, we've got these awesome revolt rotors right here. We've got the five right here, potential colors. And then of course, we've got 
what we like to call the Easter egg. Uh, a few of you subscribers are gonna get the white carbon fiber right here. So really cool knife right here, unique design. And I think you guys are really gonna like adding this to your EDC rotation. I know I will, especially if I get this one, cause it's freaking sweet. So that is Mission 73, folks. It's freaking awesome. Great EDC gear, great gear to get you outside and get you prepared for whatever you may face or get you prepared for what you hope you don't face. And that's some chafing, which I'm having a little bit of that right now because I've been standing here for a while. But uh, be sure to like and comment down below. Share it with your friends. If you ain't subscribed to the YouTube channel, do that. And I'll see you next month with Mission 74. And I got, I got a hot spot coming, Daniel. You need some of Yeah. Man, you can cut, man. It's like kind of in that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the place at Fellers, let's get, I'll try this stuff out, man. A little bit goes a long way, she said. There we go. I think that's way more than she actually aiming. Is, is, that, a, is that enough? It's or? a very hot spot. <laughs> hmm. Cut, man. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, uh. Get us a paper. I want to re report a break in. <laughs> nice. I mean, that right there will buff out, Scott. That'll buff out. That right there ain't no problem. We can get our body shop on that right there in just a little bit.